going on guys it is november 18th saturday i'm uh, running a couple sir emergency service calls really wasn't able to get anything on uh on video but um, the call i'm going to show you is from yesterday uh we had a no heat call we went out found something pretty interesting but then watch till the end because we're going to do a giveaway all right guys take a look by the way guys sorry about the wind noise in this one there is a little bit of wind um there's nothing i can do about it so i apologize in advance <laughs> all right well we had a no heating call here uh, but when we got here the air conditioning was running so it's running 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 and it's here look it froze up it even froze the filters up <laughs> so what happened was the contactor welded see it but not only that let's turn this back on i pulled the wires off the compressor so those uh so the compressor wouldn't run while i tested everything else and if we go ahead and jump why we have power to our draft inducer now but that's not starting it's locked right up ah, i bet that's been over but so we got multiple issues here we're gonna at least so the air conditioner will stop running we'll change the contactor out right now but we're gonna have to get him a draft inducer all right kenny's replacing this contactor now by the way we got kenny back he got his uh he got his work study so he's he's with me for the winter now yeah, he's swapping out this contactor for us i just emailed our distributor for icp to see if they can get us a draft inducer because she's locked right oh she's hot too Kenny's gonna keep working on that and at least we'll have the air conditioning stop so it'll fall right, out. Got our new contactor in. The good thing is the air conditioning is not running but it's gonna have to thaw out so there's nothing we can do about that now and that is an immense amount of ice so it's probably gonna leak in the building too but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Let's make sure the blower works though. We're gonna jump the blower out. but as soon as we get that new draft inducer we'll come in and put it on well guys top test is at it again they've come up with two new combustible gas leak detectors and they're pretty cool honestly right here we have the pt299 it has a telescopic probe i'll open that up here in one minute it has two sensitivity levels, high and low, and it shows your percentage uh, right on the screen. And this one has a gooseneck style probe here. You can adjust it, put it any way you kind of want. And this one is the PT210S. And that also has two sensitivities, high and low. Um, you can pick by the button here, and uh, it also shows uh, percentage level. Let's open them up, see what we got. Okay, this one here is the PT299. We'll go ahead and start it up. It's going to go through 30 second uh, startup, and it telescopes out just like that. Pretty cool stuff. Go back in. We'll let that warm up. So as far as the percentage values goes, it gives you a chart here. So 1% um, is 100 to 500 parts per million, and then so on. You can see 2% is 500 to 1,000, all the way up to 10% uh, 
which is uh, 4,500 to 5,000 parts per million. So anything that's coming up on here, you're going to know you got a leak. All right, it's just warmed up. Let's take a look at it. All right, and then if we hit the S button, we'll go to low sensitivity, and it starts off in high sensitivity. Yeah, pretty cool stuff, guys. It's very small. It could fit in your shirt pocket if you wanted it to. It takes two AAA batteries that come um, out of the package. Um, you just got to put them in when you get it. But, yeah, pretty cool little device here. Let's check out the other uh, one. This one actually comes in a nice little carrying case here. So you can uh, keep it protected in this case. All right, let's open it up. All right, here is the device. Like I said, the uh, kind of gooseneck here. You can get this thing into tight spots if you need to. Very cool. All right, and uh, kind of same deal. We'll press that, we'll give it a 30 second startup. It's pretty much got the same kind of screen on it as the PT-299. This one's the PT-210S. <clears throat> so yeah it's, maybe that screen's a little bit bigger let's turn this one back on long pressing and turn it on yeah this screen's a little more narrow this one's a little more wide all right so we're all warmed up now on this one um the screen basically acts just the same though you, if you hit high sensitivity starts out in high sensitivity drop her down to low and yeah, so let's get uh, something to test it with. All right, we got a torch here. We're gonna just give it a little bit of gas and see if it picks it up. Oh yeah, sure did. She went to 10 real quick. And it cleared off quick too. Very cool. Let's set it down so I can Oh yeah, reacted real quick. Yep. Yep, no complaints there. She works pretty good. All right, let's check the other one out now. All right, we got her telescoped out. Let's just hit her with a little bit of gas. There we go. It's coming a little bit from the side here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm noticing on this one, it has a it has a faster reaction if you come in from straight on. It does have little holes in the side, but this one you're gonna wanna come straight in on it like this. Don't come in from the side with it, come straight in with it. Um, it works pretty, it works a whole lot faster that way. And of course this one, you know, you'll have to come in just from the, from the front or whatever, but I've noticed with this one, it works a whole lot better coming straight on. So yeah, there they are the two new uh, combustible black gas leak detectors by Top Test. Very nice. You guys want to win one of these? <laughs> of course you do. So comment below and I'll get you entered. Like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll do a random drawing just like all the other ones and I'll give one of these away. Uh, I'm not sure which one yet. I think I'm going to give one of these to Kenny and then whichever one he doesn't want, I'll send, I'll send out. So very cool stuff guys yeah guys so i like how they keep it really basic you know you don't need all the bells and whistles on it you got high and low sensitivity and uh and you know a nice small probe to get in there and find your leaks so you don't 
need anything fancy when you're doing a combustible gas leak test as long as uh, it as long as you're in the vicinity it will pick it up so very cool very good product um, top test usually makes some pretty good combustible gas leak detectors I've tested uh, four or five of them now and they've all been they've all been great yeah guys so comment below like the video share it and subscribe if you're new here and we're gonna let this video run the rest of Saturday Sunday and then we're gonna pick a winner on Monday the 20th so today's the 18th we're gonna pick a winner at the end of Monday's video November 20th so this one's gonna be up a little bit longer than most of the other ones uh, we'll pick a winner with the random comment picker and uh, we'll give it away so we're gonna give away this guy here the PT 299 it's got a telescopic uh, probe on it and uh, it's very nice so if you want that comment below I'll pick one comment all right guys that's it for this one so I'll catch you on the next one yeah.